Google Forms is great for creating simple online forms, whether it's an event registration, an online survey, or maybe even an order form for your small business. But sometimes you need to take things a little bit further, and that is where add-ons come in. So let's dive in and look at some of the best add-ons for Google Forms. You can create a new Google Form by going to forms.new, and here's what you end up with. And for today's example, we're going to imagine that I own a small bakery called The Sweet Spot. And I've got an old paper order form like this, but I want to turn it into the Google Form. Let's start with our first add-on today. And by the way, the first few we're looking at are all JotForm add-ons that allow you to do things in Google Forms and take them into JotForm. I'm going to click on the three dots at the top of the screen here, go down to Get Add-ons. And in the search box here, I'm going to type JotForm AI, and we're looking for JotForm's AI form builder add-on here. Now I've already installed this, but you'll see an install button here. And once you've installed it, every add-on that you have will appear under this jigsaw piece icon at the top of the screen here. So I'm going to click AI form builder, and then choose Open Builder. And it pops up this panel on the right-hand side here. And I've got a couple of options. I can import from another file, and I can also export all of my questions as well. Now, I have that order form in a Google Doc, so I'm going to click on Google Docs here, choose that sweet spot order form, and click Select. Now, it's added over here. I choose Get Questions. And JotForms AI is going to look at the document and try and identify the questions that it needs to make on the form for me. So we can see it's found five questions. Let's click to see to make sure they're right. It's got customer name, phone number, email, select your items, and pick up date required. And it shows me the answer type as well that it's going to use. And I'm happy with those, so I'm going to click the X at the top here and then just choose import questions back on the panel. And those questions are now going to be added for me to my Google Form, which saves me the manual work of copying and pasting from that document. So if I scroll down now, I can see we've got customer name, phone number, email, all the items in a list like that. One thing I do need to do is give the form a name. So I'm going to click and highlight this here and just put sweet spot order form. And I'm going to click up on the top left as well to make sure that the file has a name in my Google Drive. Now, often when people are filling out an order form, they have questions about the process. So I actually have an FAQ document here that has lots of questions. And this is where our next add-on is going to come into play. I'm going to go back to Google Forms. Again, click on the three dots, choose Get Add-ons. And I'm going to search for JotForm chatbot. And you can see there's an add-on called Forms to Chatbots by JotForm. Again, I've already installed this, but you would click Install. And once you have it, click on the jigsaw icon and choose Forms to Chatbots here. Then choose Turn your form into a JotForm AI chatbot. I get this pop-up, I click Create your AI chatbot like this. Here's what it looks like. So JotForm allows you to build an AI chatbot that is trained on information that you give it so it can help your customers directly without you needing to get involved. So I'm gonna leave everything here on the build page as it is for now and go to the Train tab at the top. And you can see I've got a few options for adding knowledge. So I could just put some text in here. I could upload a file like this or even a link to a web page that I already have. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste everything from my Google Doc into here. There's all of the questions and click Save. Then I'm going to click this preview toggle on the top right here to give it a test. I'm going to ask a question like, do you do gluten-free treats? There we go, I get an answer. So now if the order form was on my website, I could also have this chatbot embedded in the page and people could ask questions as they go. But this actually leads me onto our next add-on. So I'm gonna go back to my form over here. And this time I'm gonna click on the three dots, choose get add-ons, and I'm going to search for JotForm Mobile. And there's an add-on here called a mobile app creator by JotForm. Again, I already have it installed, but you can just click Install. Once it's installed, you go to the jigsaw piece icon, and I'm going to choose the mobile app creator for Google Forms by JotForm. Then I choose Convert Your Form into JotForm Apps, like this. And we're going to do something really cool here. We're going to click Create App, and now I'm going to put my Google Form and my chatbot both on one screen together so people can use them like an app. So here's what the app looks like right now. It just has my form in one of the tabs here. But what I'm going to do is click Add a Page, and you see I have the option to drag an element from the left. So I'm going to go up to Elements, go to Widgets, and I'm looking for this iframe embed option. I'm going to click and drag that onto the second page. Then click the Settings gear, and I need to get the URL of my chatbot now. So I go back to my chatbot tab, turn off the preview here, and instead go to the Publish tab at the top of the screen. Then I'm going to click Copy Link here, go back to my chatbot tab, and then paste that link into the Frame URL box here. So now I've got the chatbot on one page, I've got the order form on another, and I want people to be able to switch from one to the other. So I'm going to click on navigation settings at the bottom of the screen here, choose enable bottom navigation like this, so we get these buttons. 
just going to rename the second page over on the left here by clicking the three dots and choosing rename. I'm going to call it help. And to see what this looks like for people using it now, I'm going to click on publish at the top. And I'm going to click the QR code option down here and scan that QR code with my phone. And here's what it looks like. So I've got the whole form like this. And if I need any help, I can just tap help at the bottom of the screen. And I've got the chat bot right here where I could just ask a question if I'm stuck as a customer like we saw earlier. So JotForms add-ons for Google Forms basically act like an upgrade kit, taking just your form and turning it into something much more like a mobile app with a chatbot that can help people fill out the form. But if you want to stay strictly inside the Google ecosystem, let's take a look at a few more add-ons that might be helpful when you're using Google Forms. The first one is called Form Ranger. So I'm going to click on that jigsaw piece icon up here and choose Form Ranger. Click Start. Form Ranger is going to allow me to populate a question with items from a spreadsheet. So this list of products is from my original order form, but it's actually been updated since then. So I'm going to create a new range here from my spreadsheet choose that spreadsheet that has my product list in it, make sure it's selected the right data, which it has here and click next. And I give it a name. So I'm going to call it products like this and then save and populate question. And it's going to pull all of those products from my spreadsheet into the Google form here. The good thing about this is if I add more products in future, or if I remove some from the list, this will automatically update with just the click of a button. So for example, if I click update question list now, you can see it's removed a couple of the options from that list. Next up is choice eliminator. And in this example, it's going to allow me to remove these choices once my stock has run out. So again, I go to the jigsaw icon up here, choose choice eliminator X and click start. And on here, I get a list of all of my questions. This only works with multiple choice questions and I can choose to do a number limit. So I click on here and I can put the number in for each of these line items. Just for the example now, I'm going to set them all to one. This saves automatically. So now let's see what happens when someone fills this out and orders one of these products. So let's say I select two of these like this, select my date at the bottom here and click submit. Remember, there's only one available right now. So it should be once I submit this, because there is only one available of each of these options that I'm selecting, for the next person to fill out the form, they shouldn't be on the list. So let's submit it and click submit another response. And now you can see for the next person, those two options that I selected aren't available anymore because they'd been limited by Choice Eliminator X. This could also be really helpful if you want to do appointments and remove times as people book a time with you and so on. The next add-on we're going to explore is called Payable Forms. That's going to allow us to take payment after someone's completed the form for the things that they've ordered on it. So again, I click the jigsaw icon, choose Payable Forms from the list here, and I'm going to choose Configure Payment Settings, which is pop up this side panel. The way Payable Forms works is it looks for a question where you have products listed in this format with a dash followed by a monetary amount. And then once someone submits the form, you either put a link in the submission message or they receive an email. And that will lead them to the payment section of the form that will look something like this, where it lists the products that they've ordered and gives them a chance to put in their details and make payment at the bottom with any payment methods that you set up. The penultimate add-on we're going to look at today allows you to do approvals. So once a form has been submitted, send it to someone for them to approve it and we can set up a number of steps. So I'm going to click on the jigsaw icon. This one is called form approvals. So I click, click open the add-on and it's gonna pop up the side panel again. And it's super simple to set up. All I have to do is click the plus button to add approvers. So you can see I already have one here. I could add a teammate on here as well by putting their email address in like so. Then I save it. There are more advanced options in here, like only sending approvals based on a particular answer in a form response. But once someone has completed the form, an email is received and that email gives the option for that person to look over all of the information that was submitted and either approve, decline, or leave a comment on the approval as well. By the way, both payments and form approvals are standard features in JotForm as well. So if you wanted to do those built in without having to worry about extra add-ons, have a look in JotForm at some of the widgets that are available to help you do that. And the final add-on we're going to look at is perhaps the most helpful, which is the ability to get email notifications, but also create PDFs of the responses that people have given when they filled out the form. So again, once I've installed it, I can get it from this jigsaw menu up here. Go to email notifications for Google Forms, choose to open the app, and I'm going to click create at the top right here. And you can see there's a bunch of different options. It could even notify you in Slack or in Discord. I'm going to choose email. I have to give this a name, call it new order. 
choose who I want this to be sent from, it's gonna be me. And I can edit the email at the bottom of the screen here. I'm just gonna leave this as it is for now and click continue. And on the next screen, I've got a few other options. So I could also, aside from just notifying me, choose to notify the form respondent and I select the field that has their email in it, which is this email field here, then click continue. And I've also got the option to generate a PDF, which would be good to confirm with the customer what they've ordered as well, or even better if I want to print it out. So I'd check that box, to save and continue. And once someone's filled out that form over in my Gmail, I can see I get an email like this and it has a PDF attached with all the information as well. Super helpful. So there you have it. Whilst Google Forms has some basic functionality, you can extend it using add-ons and you can take it even further if you use JotForms add-ons like being able to create a mobile app or even your own chatbot to help people complete the form. Or perhaps you've already got a document with your questions in and you don't want to have to type them all out again. Use JotForms AI form builder add-on to help with that as well. Well, I hope it was helpful. If you liked this video, drop it a like, leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time.